Okay, lesson 10-1, using number lines to multiply by 10. Okay, so we know that when we're multiplying by 10, we are counting by 10s. And we know that if we count by 10s, we're going to get 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, these are called multiples multiples of 10, just like when we're multiplying by a number, those are the, the products are considered the multiples, okay? So if we're 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, we're counting by 100s, the numbers that we're saying are the multiples of 10. So um, this chapter is gonna focus on multiplying by multiples of 10. 10. So it doesn't just mean going 6 times 10, it might be doing 6 times 30, because 30 is a multiple of 10, okay? So this is just an introduction lesson today to make sure that you are understanding exactly what 6 groups of 30 means and how we can use a number line to count by 30 6 times, okay? So let's start with our sheet. Okay, how many jumps are there on this number line? Remember, this is the start line. This is like where you're waiting for them to blow the whistle and say, okay, go start your race. You're not going anywhere when you're at the start line. You can't say, I finished already. You haven't moved. So you don't, you don't count until you've moved, okay? So how many jumps do we have? One, two, three, four, okay? Four jumps. How long is each jump? Well, they're all 30, right? 30, 30, 30, 30. So let's use the number line to find four groups of 30 because we have four groups of 30 each. So we go 30, 60, 90, 120. So four times 30 is 120, okay? Complete the products in the table. Use an open number line to help, okay? One factor times 20 is 20, okay? The factor, remember factor, factor times a factor equals the product, okay? They're calling the second factor as a multiple of 10, which it is. So two times 20, well, let's count on the number line. So one jump of 20 is 20. Two ju jumps of 20 is 40, right? 20, 40. Three jumps of 20 should be you fill in the rest of these. Okay, so pause it and fill up to there. Okay, three jumps of 20, 20, 40, 60. Four jumps, 20, 40, 60, 80. And five jumps, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Okay, so we get 60, 80, 100. The pattern in the product column, that's just the product column, is similar to when you multiply by two, right? One times one times two is two, but with a zero afterwards. Two times two is four, but with a zero after it. Three times two is six, but with a zero after it. Four times two is eight, but with a zero after it. Five times two is 10, but with a zero after it. Don't get confused at the fact that there's two zeros. Five times two is absolutely 10, not just one. And then you have to bring another zero over, okay? So use an open number line to find four groups of 50. Show four jumps of 50 on the number line. Okay, so what are we gonna label these up? If this is 50, we're gonna count by 50, so what should this be? 100, okay. What should this one be? 50, 100, 150. And then how about this little guy right here? We got 50, 100, 150. We're counting by 50, so what should this one be? 200, okay? So now we wanna jump four times. So we got 50, 100, 150, 200, so one, two, three, 
four. So four jumps of 50 is 200. Therefore, four times 50 is 200. And if you look at it this way, oops, 50 equals four times five is what? Write it down right here. Four times five is 20. Bring your zero over. 200, which is what we got. Four times 50 is 200. Okay, draw and label an open line, open number line to find the product of six groups of 30. Okay. Open number line just means it keeps going in both directions. So we're going to count by 30. Okay, so we just start at zero. Our first top is going to be 30. Let's count by, by 30. So we got 30. What should come next? 60, right? 30 plus 30 is 60. We need to add another 30 right here. See if you can fill those in. You're counting by 30. So 0 plus 30 is 30, plus 30 is 60. 60 plus 30 is 90. See if you can add 30 more, 30 more, 30 more. Pause it, fill those in, and then come back. Should be 120, 150, and 180. We're just adding 30 each time. But if you look, it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, which is multiples of 3 also. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. 3 times 1, 3 times 2, 3 times 3, 3 times 4, 3 times 5, and 3 times 6. Okay? Now, we want to do 6 hops of 30. So start here and hop 6 times and tell me where you land. Pause it and come back. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Equals 180. And if you think about it, write this down. Six times 30 equals. Okay, six times three equals. Write it right here. What is six times three? Should get 18. Bring that zero over. 180, which is what that is. Okay, one more in the back. I want you to draw an open, lump, an open number line to do six times 20. So start with zero. bit further. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. N label these by 20s. So count by 20s. Pause it and come back. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, one hundred twenty. So now I want you to pause it and count six times 20 and tell me what the answer is. Do, use it on the number line. Don't start until you one. This is not one. This is zero at the start line. They haven't even blown the start whistle yet. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now show me, show me how to do it this way. Do six times two equals, write the answer right there and then bring your zero over. So six times two equals 12, and bring your zero over. Good job.